All right, so today I'm going to add clothes to my players as they enter the game. And I'll do it for teams too, that'll be cool. You can put like team uniforms on your players. Uh, when, they enter the, when they enter the game, they join a team, boom, they got, the, they got the clothes ready and everything. So let's go ahead and get clothes. Let's go to our toolbox and we'll go models. And I'll look for a hobo, all right? So I'm gonna make my hobo is gonna be one of my team uh, outfits. All right, so now I need plugins. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna do build rig. I'm gonna do a mesh rig. I'm just using him as a as a model, so we can see what our clothes look like. There's our pants and shirt that's on the on the on the on the hobo. Put him on a dummy just to see how it looks. I like it. That looks good. So let me go ahead and delete that model, and I'll rename these pants to hobo pants. Hobo pants. And I'll rename the shirt to hobo shirt. And then I'll select both of them. I'm going to drag this down to server storage, right? Because I want to I want to use that, those every time somebody joins the hobo team. Cool. I'll keep the dummy there because I want to get another outfit. Let's get another one. Let's go to home toolbox. Maybe we'll look for tuxedo. There we go. Here's Tuxedo Dude. He looks like he's wearing a tuxedo. There we go. He is. Let's try him on. Open that up. There's some pants. There's a shirt. Let's move it up to dummy. There we go. Dummy. How's that look? That looks good. All right. Let's get rid of our, our Tuxedo Dude. And then let's rename our pants. Let's call this Tux Pants. I will call this, come on, there we go, tuck shirt. Once again, I will copy these down to server storage or I'll drag them down to server storage. There we go, server storage. And now I don't need my dummy anymore. I was only using him as a model to, to see how the clothes looked. There we go. So let's go to server script service and add a script, All right? And I'm gonna call this uh, give clothes, give clothes. All right, so give clothes, we're going to need a variable for server storage, local server storage, game get service, server storage. There we go. And I want to get my hobo pants, server storage, wait for child, hobo pants. And I'm going to do another variable for hobo shirt, SS. Wait for child, hobo shirt. Cool. Now, I'm, ju I'm just gonna do the hobo first and then, and then I'll do it for teams with a tuxedo. Let's make a function, local function, give clothes. And we're gonna use this for both the hobo stuff and the tuxedo stuff. So I'm gonna pass in the character of the player and I'll show you how to do that. And I'll do this game shirt. This is the shirt we're gonna put on them and the game pants, the pants that we'll put them on, put on them. All right, let's look for a shirt. Make sure they're wearing a shirt because they could have like body colors and stuff. So I'll say local cur shirt equals char. So it's gonna be on the character. I'm gonna do a find first child, which is a shirt. So I didn't look for the name shirt because you might have somebody like me who's renaming shirts and stuff. So I just looked for a shirt, see if they're wearing it. I'll say if not shirt, so if not current shirt, they're not wearing a shirt, then let's make one, right? So current shirt equals instance new shirt. And the parent is gonna be what we're gonna put the shirt on, which is the character. Cool, now we know we have a shirt because if we didn't, we made one and there's a shirt template. And we have to populate that with our game shirt, shirt template. So we don't have to clone it because we're just using the template over and over again. And um, we're gonna do one for pants now too. So local cur pants char, find first child, which is a pants. Cool, if not cur pants, then let's make pants. Pants equals instance new. Uh, whoops, I hit my caps lock. 
pants, and then the character will be the parent. All right, so now we know we have pants. Current pants, pants template, pants template, game pants dot pants template. And that's all we need to do, but we have to call this. We have to call this, we have to pass in our hobo shirt and hobo pants. How are we gonna do that? Well, game players, this is the player service, it keeps track of players entering the game, and it has an event called player added. And then we'll connect that event to an anonymous function where the player gets passed in because it's the player added event. And then we'll say player, and we're gonna look for the character appearance added. That's going to be tricky to spell without making a typo. Appearance loaded, I'm sorry. Character appearance loaded. I always get that one confused. All right, connect, function, and the character gets passed in. You could probably do a character added and get away with it, but the appearance loaded is loading up like the shirt and the accessories and things like that. So that's really the one you want to key off of for your event. And now I'm just going to do a give close. So we didn't hook this up to teams yet. We're just going to give them some clothes. So we have the character. We have our hobo shirt. That was our first argument. We have our hobo pants. That was the second. Let's try it out. Let's see if we have a, a hobo outfit on. I should check to see if we have any errors. So I'm going to hit this view and then output. There we go. No errors. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see that. And we got a hobo outfit on. Cool. How do we do this for teams? Well, let's stop this. And I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna put some spawn points for the team stuff too. But I'm gonna go down to my team service and then I'm gonna add two teams, right? I hit that plus sign, this plus sign right here, hit it and then hit team. I did that twice. I'm gonna call this one hobos and uh, one for tuxes. Let's call those bourgeois. I think it's spelled like that. It doesn't have to be spelled right. I think that is spelled right, though. So hobos versus the bourgeois. That's the fancy people, right? Bourgeois. All right, let's get some. We have bourgeois. Let's make them uh, the black team because they're wearing like a black suit and tie. Hobos. We'll just keep that white because that's good enough. And now let's get some spawn points. We have one spawn point. I'm going to remove the decal so I can see the color. And this one's going to be white, right? Here's a white right here. White. That's pearl. That's white. Cool. And let's go down to our team stuff. And then I'm going to say neutral. No. It's going to be associated with the white team. So I had team color. Oh, and I hit pearl again. White. There we go white. All right, let's do one for the black. I'm just going to duplicate this and then change the values. So let's control D to duplicate. I'll move that over. And this one's going to be the black team for the tuxedo people. There we go. Black team. I don't want it to be neutral. I want it to spawn on my appropriate spawn location. And I'm going to change the color so I don't get confused. All right, color black. Cool beans. All right, so we have a white spawn, a black spawn. We have a hobos versus the bourgeois. And now let's go back to our script and update it. Where is our script? Server script service, give close. So we, I'm going to make a variable for teams, for the team service. Local teams equals game get service teams. There we go. And now I'm going to go down. Here, we can get rid of this. We can go down to this players, uh, players, player added event. And in here, on the appearance, when we get added, we're going to say if the player team, team, no S, team name equals equals our team service hobo's name, then We'll add hobo stuff. Else must be the other team, right? Let me just move this up a little. Give close. Uh, now, oh, we need our tux stuff. We don't have we don't have variables for that. Let's just go ahead and put them in. 
So we're gonna call it tux shirt and then tux pants. All right, let's make variables for this because there's an error. So we'll go up here, right? We just copy these, control C, paste them. And then where it says hobo, we're gonna call it tux, right? Shirt, tux, same here. Whoops, backspace, capital tux. Has to be spelled the same, tux pants. There we go, we found it in server storage. And we got a tux shirt, boom. Cool, that should work. Now, uh, we can't really test this unless we have more than one player, so let's go to our test server. I have three players selected. I'll hit the start, and let's see what happens. I'm gonna pause it while it's starting up, though, because it takes a while on my computer. All right, we can see things starting up. It's gonna go slow. All right, we got our first hobo. We should have two more, two more starting. Down here, we can see one. Ah, right, here we go. Cool beans. All right, and then I have a third one that's starting up over here. I'll just pull that off. That's getting kind of busy on my on my screen. So our tux person is on the black, and then our hobo people are on the white. And now we got teams, right, with team uniforms, uh, you know, suits and or tuxes and hobo outfits. But nevertheless, now you know how to add uh, clothes to players as they enter the game. Uh, good luck on this video. I will see you in the next video.